This is a coincidence. I mean, you know, horses do get hurt occasionally, but but to have four or, or whatever the number is right now in, in so few a days is very unusual. Still, equine vet Foster Northrop says it's not uncommon for a horse to suffer an injury. Horses are, are putting out everything they have and they're, you know, they're going upwards of 40 miles an hour. And as the horse gets closer to the wire, you know, that's when they start getting tired. But And that's usually when injuries occur. Since last Thursday, four horses have been injured or died at Churchill Downs. Two horses, Parents Pride and Chasing Artie, collapsed on the track after their race. The cause of death has yet to be determined, but both were trained by Miami-based trainer Safi Joseph Jr. The other two, Wild on Ice and Take Charge Brianna, suffered leg injuries and had to be euthanized. Well, a horse is uh, has to have four legs. Uh, they can't survive on one leg, they can't survive on crutches, they can't survive in a wheelchair. Uh, so we have no choice but to keep those horses on all four. Three of the four horses went down on the track's turf course, one during a race and the other two just after their races. Churchill Downs recently underwent a $10 million renovation to its turf course. And even after having trouble with it in the fall, jockeys and trainers alike tell me they see no issue with it now. It's, uh, it's not the surface. The surface, was, he actually said it was really good. He said it felt good. Um, I just think that we've run into a little stretch of bad luck. Churchill Downs released this statement, calling the incidents highly unusual but unacceptable, also reassuring that they, quote, have full confidence in their racing surface. Now, trainers and vets like Roman and Northrop say they have full confidence putting their horses on the track. If there is a, an issue, then we're going to identify it and, you know, possibly scratch the horse from the race. I think we're just running into a bad streak here. I think you'll see it play out where we go for a long time with no, with no injuries and no and, uh, no deaths, so, uh, hopefully anyway. Addie Miners, WLKY News. And